everyone, it's Dana, and welcome back to my channel. You're watching Dana's Dollar Tree Hauls, and I am back with a Dollar Tree Haul. Um, and it pretty much is the Ode to Share Dollar Tree Haul that I've got here. You know, your friend and mine, Crafty Share Cupcake. I think I'm going to be a bandwagon jumper, and I'm going to start, well, not start, I'm going to try, attempt to do one of these fairy garden things. So it pretty much is, um, oh, Share bought that? I need that. I don't know what I'm doing, but if Cher bought it, I must need it. So anyway, I'll show you the non-Cher stuff, and then I'll show you the Cher stuff. So first things first, we'll start with food. Um, my Dollar Tree still has these humongous can of chickpeas, uh, the 28 fluid ounce um, can, and I probably eat three cans of chickpeas a week anyway, so I grabbed two of the great big fellas for $1.25. They're the only two that I found. Um, I picked up a package of these Nutrigrain fruit and nut medley bars for my lunch. There's five bars in here. No artificial flavors or colors. And what does it say? 150 calories per bar. Protein's not that high. It's only three grams. Sugars are 11. Well, okay, it's sugars from fruit. So I picked that up for snacks for my lunches. I actually grabbed two. This is actually, Cher, pay attention. Um, she and I have an affinity for the boxed cake mix. So I found these, the confetti cups. Moist Deluxe something. Oh, Moist Deluxe. The uh, Duncan Hines, Hines Signature um, Cupcake Mix. So what's in here? Cupcake Mix, that's it, I guess. With confetti. I guess there must be a little package of confetti in here. So, and the best before on this is April the 18th, no, April 10th of 2018. So I picked up two of those to make little snacks to take into the office. I picked up this small little, it's called a trifle bowl, trifle container, and it's just got little gumballs on the front there. It's, it's just small, um, but I thought I could put something in there even if it's just flowers or a fairy garden. So anyway, like the tiniest of tiny, so I can start off with this size, but I grabbed that. That's it for food, no. I bought one little package of the Palmer's fudge tarts. They're quite delicious. Okay, so I picked up one of these little candle holders and they're not the best quality. I mean, it's just plaster. You can see the air bubbles all over them and stuff, but a little lick of spray paint and nobody's gonna know the difference. So I picked up one of those. Um, we're getting ready to go um, traveling soon. So I picked up a two pack of the uh, soap containers. I can't remember if I, I travel with my mom and my stepdad, and between my mom and I, she'll go, okay, I'm going to bring the Q-tips, you bring the this, okay, I got the wipes, you get the hair blower, so we try to not double up, and I don't know if we have a soap dish or not, I'm sure she does, but I grabbed this just in case we wanted a fresh set. Um, I'm trying to show you things before I get into fairy garden-itis here. Um, I found these cute things that are stuck together. It is over the rainbow. I don't know whether it's a hair tie or a necklace for a little girl, but I got it mainly for the beads here on the side for a dangle on the pocket letter. And it's got pretty ribbon on it as well. Um, yeah, so I, I picked up two of those to put away. And in the same theme, I always, I always see these, I never do anything about them, but today I looked at them differently. They're, it's glass beads by Craft Medley, and it's just beading like this. And this is the pink one, and then I picked it up in the blue also. I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, let's find out what's gonna happen. It's stapled on here. I hope it doesn't let loose. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Hopefully it's tied at the end. Holy Godiva, to make it seriously tough to get into these things. Yeah, it's tied off. So, I got that. And I have, 
you know, we all have that drawer in our kitchen, you know, where our spatulas live and our measuring spoons and all of our stuff that we touch on a daily basis. Well, mine is a gong show. It is such a mess. This morning I was emptying my dishwasher and putting things away and I thought, you, you've got to do something about this because it's driving me crazy. So I bought those, these ones that have the rubber in there and then the rubber feet on them. I got three of them in this long style and then one in this style to try and, well, clean up the gong show, quite frankly. Hopefully it'll work. Hopefully my drawer is deep enough to hold this, you know? If not, goodness knows, I can do something with it. I picked up another package of these, um, just the poly button file holder envelopes um, for my pocket letters, um, to put my pocket letters in when I do crafting exchanges with my friends so that all the stuff stays intact. Um, one of the gals that I swap with quite often, Andrea, she sends her stuff like that, and when I saw it, I thought, that is just a perfect idea, so I stole it. Anyway, that's okay. I'm sure Andrea wouldn't mind. Um, and then, I'm almost there, guys. I just picked up these two signs, not for the signs. I was watching a DIY video, and I'm sorry, I can't remember her name, but she made a little rustic farmhouse tray using these flowers and I was only able to find two I need two more but what she did was took the flower off the top and actually invert took the burlap off as well and then inverted this and used this as a leg and made it a tray like this like this as the little feet it was really really sweet so I'm not necessarily going to do that but I wanted these as an option for something, and then I wanted these to use as feet, so I picked up two of them. Hopefully, I'm going to be lucky enough to find two more. Okay, I, I think we're there. I think it's all fairy garden-itis from here on out. So, let's, let's well, let's shift. We'll, oh, that window might be too much. We'll just move down here. Okay, so... I have no idea what I'm doing, okay? I haven't watched any videos. I've just seen Cher give us a tour of her fairy gardens, the video that she did where she put one together, showing us the little things that she's made. Um, so I don't know. I If Cher bought it and said fairy garden, I bought it. So here we go. I got this little container, the flowers and garden container that's out this year, um, the galvanized one. <clears throat> I got these three little birds because I thought they were small enough, maybe, to be in a fairy garden. I got these chalkboard signs because I thought I could put welcome on there or something. I don't know. Oh, gosh, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, she got these white rocks, so I got these white rocks, and she says it's better to buy them in the bag and in the net bag, because the net bag is too messy, even if this is a smaller size. So, well, that's what I did. And then I got them in the black, too, because I didn't know if I needed a driveway. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I even went to the Dollarama and bought some green ones that are like sea glass and can look like water. So I'll show you that in a minute. I got a bag of rocks here. And then I got these bag of rocks here. I got this three net bag of planters because I also bought this planter thinking that maybe I could invert it or just use up some space so I don't have to put so much dirt. Um, I don't know, just to, I don't know, drainage or something. It might not even work. It doesn't work, but oh gosh. It'll fit in something to invert. So I got that. And then I got some succulent picks. Uh, I got this one. And I got this one that's tied with a wee bit of raffia here. It's three in there. And I got this one. And then I got this 
cabbage looking one. It's very pretty. Um, I still have some left over in these wee pots from last year that I've not done anything with. So, Fairy Gardens, here we come. I know you put live things in there too, but I can fake it till I make it. Okay, and now it's um, the Fairy Garden houses. I wasn't able to find um, any of the fairies, and I wasn't able to find any of the gnomes, even if that gnome at the top of the three gnomes looks a little odd to me. I, I really don't know. It's, let's just leave it there. I found this package. It's got the turtle and the snail and the owl, so I bought two of those. And that's all they had, two of these. So I don't know if I'm late or they just didn't come out of the boxes yet or what, but got, or the whole world in Ottawa has been fairy gardening like crazy all week. Um, and I went out this morning. We're supposed to, yesterday afternoon after I finished work, big snowstorm. So I just went to the grocery store and came home. I had planned to go to the DT, but I didn't. And then this, this afternoon, any time now, it's supposed to start snowing and then switch to freezing rain. So I went out and did all my running around this morning, and now I'm going to hunker down inside the house. So maybe I can, I don't know. Fairy garden. Or at least watch videos on how to do it. Okay, now I got this one, the little welcome sign. I got, I know we've all seen these a thousand times. The little bridge. Not gonna lie, my favorite thing. It's so funny. A little outhouse for the fairies. I mean, really. Oh God. And I got this one house. This one on camera, I was dying to get my hands on. This is the one that I thought was my favorite. I'm like, oh, I hope when I go, I'm going to see that cute little mushroom. Eh -eh. Not my favorite anymore until I got to the store. It's sweet. Don't get me wrong. It's like got its little mushroom cap all tilted. It's pretty chic. But it's not my favorite. So I got that. I got this cutie with his little lily pad head there or leaf head or whatever it is with his little mushroom chimney up here. Super cute and says welcome and then it's got a little window there. Just adorable and then it's just a little tree stump. Okay, my favorite is this guy. He's so cute. Now, I'm going to zhuzh him up a little bit with a bit of color because it's, it's pretty dark and I say that. I'm going to fix it. It's my favorite, but I'm going to fix it. Um, yeah, I think it's just darling. Like I might put little doorknobs in gold on the door or something, you know, or I don't know. Make these windows red. But yeah, I just love it. It's so sweet. Um, I was not able to find the little tables and chairs. I was hoping to find that. I didn't. But it's supposed to be sunny and beautiful tomorrow, so... There may be a Dollar Tree in my future. Um, yeah, so that's everything I got. That's my Crafty Share Cupcake Dollar Tree haul. So anyway, um, wish me luck, everybody, because I've never done it before. I've planted things in a planter, but I've never tried to make it look cute. And she said in her video yesterday during her haul that she gives them as gifts, and I thought, well... Yeah, that is super cute. So I grabbed a couple of extra things just to potentially make his gifts if they're not ridiculous looking when I'm done. So anyway, that's it. Okay, everybody, thanks for stopping back to my channel. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you stick around. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And for my returning guests, thanks for coming back. All right, everybody, have a great Sunday. Bye.